clean, reliable information coming from the TD Ameritrade API, good granularity of data, and you're ready to lose all your money to the stock market. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Get Bags. And I woke up this morning and had a choice to help people get laid or help people get money. Good thing for you, I chose both. All right, today we're going to be getting intraday data from the TD Ameritrade API. So if you haven't seen the setup video, I did full coverage on that. And shout out to part time Larry and Alex Golek for the TD API library. So let's jump straight into it. We've got all of our modules up here. We want to get those imported. And then you want to make sure you pip install MPL Finance. That's going to allow you to get candlestick charts at the end. All right, then of course we want to do our authentication flow and get things started. So one thing you'll notice here is I rearranged these variables so it reads a little easy. So this is going to get six months, six months of week of, of weekly of weekly candles. Let's check it out. So you can see here that we got one, two, three, four, five, six months of weekly candles. And so this reads six months of basically one week. And so if you rearrange it, it reads a little easier. So let's keep it moving. Lightning speed, everybody, because I got to get to sleep. All right, 20 years of daily candles of single day. And then if you look in the documentation, it really breaks this down. So here's, for example, two days of one minute charts. So if you just read it, it's two days of one minute charts. Um, really, really makes it easy to read through. And then you can check Alex Golek's uh, documentation. He gives you all the keywords and enumerations um, that you're using here. So three months of daily, one day candles, etc. So there we have that. Oh, and if you look at the code at the bottom for our um, candlestick data, it uses the whole time series. So if we looked at the 20 years, it'd be the whole 20 years, but you wouldn't be able to recognize the candles because they'd be so small. All right, next 10 days of 30 minute candles. Boom. I mean, this is just like clockwork. You know, to be honest, this is a dangerous video to make, right? Because some people are going to take this, they're going to make money. But then some people, they're going to take this, and they're just going to lose all their money. So, you know, I mean, I hope more good comes out of this than bad. All right, next. Okay, looks. So, anyways, two days of five-minute candles. You can see it's two-day periods. And then this um, doesn't have the post-market. Uh, this does have the post-market data in it. So, um you're seeing this kind of uh, tape right here, basically. Um, and so then if you look at the previous chart, this is 10 days of 30 minute candles here, but there's no post market data. Um, so you just have to change this need extended hours data to false. And I guess by default, um, it's true. So that's what we see here when we get this chart. So don't want the post market data just set need extended hours data to false and then you can see the chart uh, chart here so very very simple and then the last thing we want to do is look at a specific date range so if we need to get a specific date range and it says here in the um, let's see it says here in the documentation that if you provide an end date and a start date parameter that the period parameter should not be provided so what you see here is we have the end date and start date but there's no period that's specified. So that being said, we need to provide a date time object and it's in milliseconds since epic. Um, and that's kind of um, provided here as far as information. So we got one year of daily data here and then that's gonna plot that out. So that's 2019. And then, of course, uh, going up into 2020. Um, so 
there you have it we've got our candlestick data right there um, as you can see you've got some really clean reliable information coming from the TD Ameritrade API good granularity of data and you're ready to lose all your money to the stock market all right everybody you have my permissions let's go ahead and get these bags